Hello guys, this is studiojollyroger.com and this is another project showcase, this time with a little bit more uh, detail in progress. Okay, so I want to show you a quick uh, project showcase, which is the Udwe uh, Right Night. And it is in tutorial, so I won't be showing you like, the whole process, but I want to show you how the each step looks. So obviously I will start with assembling. I have few uh, details already assembled, but yeah, that's that's the whole X. This is the part which requires the most polishing and sometimes even green stuff because the legs are assembled from two separate parts and they have this line between them yeah but overall it's pretty easy kit to get together uh, it's even pretty easy to magnetize which i will do so yeah that's that's the legs part and let's get more things assembled before I will assemble the torso, I need to keep these small armor parts separate because I want to paint them in different color, so that will make it easy. So yeah, let's start the torso. Okay, so I have the torso assembled as well without some weaponry and head separated. But yeah, the torso is very well fitted, so I won't need any kind of and green stuffing or uh, filling the gaps, uh, which is nice because uh, these legs uh, still require some of that work. But yeah, I will do that at the very end. Mm, I will need to assemble everything first to uh, start filling the gaps. It's one of the days that I feel that I, that I accomplished a lot because it's a big model, but in all fairness, I still have to do his uh, arms and weaponry, which will be magnetized, so yeah. And I have all the necessary equipment magnetized, so yeah, the torso have all the required magnets uh, for all the weaponry options, um, and I as I said before, I have the, all the small uh, armor parts and the head uh, not assembled because I want to have them painted in white. So it make it it will make it way easier. I love mm, magnetizing the hands or the arms because they uh, are well fitted for the big magnets. The small parts are are way worse, especially the on the ones on the upper torso because they require two magnets to not spin around it isn't that bad but it's just a little bit time consuming yeah the main gun for his left hand uh, have only two three options which isn't that bad either it's just one magnet and for one hand and the second for second hand obviously but yeah that's uh, one of the kits that are pretty easy uh, to magnetize if you think only about magnetizing the main weapons the small ones are where the trouble is but still it's manageable if you ever plan to do it by yourself just remember to put two magnets in the small parts and obviously don't screw up the polarization because it's it's the worst to replace them after the fact when you realize that you have the polarity uh, in the not correct spots and I probably won't be very different from all the other Elder painters uh, when I say that the sword is the coolest part of the right night. Okay, so finally I could start some painting 
and yeah that's the separation between the white parts and the black part um, and this is like something like phase one of the project so i want to get this whole torso done all with uh, these white parts as well and after that i will paint uh, weaponry and arms which is just another another phase of the whole project this is the fairly easy one and i want to get it done as fast as possible just to get the idea on how this final on how the final result will look which is pretty easy to tell when you have this whole uh, torso with all the accessory done yeah obviously i started with airbrushing and now i just need to paint the rest of the owl which is very easy obviously so yeah let's do this okay so i didn't want to drag this video for too long so i just uh, show you the final results i have the magnetized hands uh, already painted you can see it's just black with a little bit of purple details and just a hint of green so yeah that's the that's his shield um, and there is my favorite part which is obviously the sword uh, i want to make uh, the handle look like yellowish right bone i hope it doesn't look like a uh, non-metallic metal too much but i think it isn't so yeah that's the another major part and now i have the two guns which have their uh, magnetized barrels i guess that they are barrels so yeah that's the second hand and obviously the torso is done as well and the more i think about it i think that i should do photos in between these steps it probably would make it uh, a little bit easier to showcase but yeah that's idea for another another project okay and here is the torso uh, i still need to do additional details on the base like the um, snow and uh, grass so yeah but everything else is done and ready to be assembled with magnets i think it looks cool i'm pretty happy with the result and, and i think it will be the nice piece to showcase the whole uh, ulfa army we are wor working on so yeah that's that definitely will be the centerpiece as always with elders i overall love the model it's old it's very old but uh, it still looks great mm, and yeah i really like this large scale uh, robots so yeah probably add a few more details at the very end i sometimes do so let's get to the final result this is only the one assembly option obviously you can uh, switch the weaponry as you want and yeah i hope you like it i hope uh, it looks ni nice to you and thanks you for watching and see you in the next video cheers